All right, Shalom. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahawar Kakwadash, that will honor our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and honor all you fellow laborers and during afflictions, bringing out this word of sincerity and the truth. Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Bahawar Kakwadash, Barakatham. Okay, so, you know, we finished camp and uh, all the articles, everything. The spirit pretty much right now is the spirit of Esau going down. You know, like even as analysts say that America is in a precipitous decline. And the scriptures talk about uh, us prophesying against Mount Seir, man. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's this place right here in America, man. And then Esau is uh, is inheriting these curses nonstop, man, all around the world, all around the globe. Okay, so, you know, the, the elder got a, um, an article concerning what's happening to Esau over there in South Africa. Beautiful, by the way. Yep. <clears throat> and more, more of this is to come. Okay, it ain't just gonna be the Hamites that's gonna rise up against you. All these other nations are gonna rise up, and they're already rising up against you. Okay, more violence is gonna be uh, brought your way. All right. This is from uh, RT. <clears throat> uh, it came out uh, March first. Uh, the title it says "Taking White Owned Land in South Africa: Correcting Injustice or Tip for Tat Racism." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is former. Right, right, right. Which that's what Esau is saying. This is tit for tat. This is reverse racism. And he'll try to reference Martin Luther King. You know, eye eye for eye and lead, leads the whole world blind. And it's, he's only bring that out because now everybody wants to put a foot up his ass. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and really that's what it is. It's correcting the injustice, man. Scriptures talk about uh, how you're not supposed to remove your neighbor's landmark. Matter of fact, can you get that? Mm -hmm. Hey, because the heavenly Father appointed that land to them Hamites. Mm -hmm. You know. Esau, Esau has his own land uh, over there in uh, in uh, Mount Seir, yep. uh, Petra. But you refuse Martin. to uh, lay, lay claim to. Mm -hmm. You don't want nothing to do with that land. The land that the Heavenly Father gave you, you don't want that. You want everybody else's land. My land. Right. Oh, <clears throat> and even uh, when we came out of Egypt, the Most High didn't have us uh, take uh, other nations' land. Okay, he, he had us uh, conquer the Canaanites, because that was the land that the Most High was going to give to us. But the Moabites that were established already, the Ammonites, even you Edomites, man. The Most High said, don't meddle with them. Don't take their land. You know? <laughs> Why? Because that's in the scriptures, man. Yeah. Yep, this is uh, Deuteronomy 19 and 14. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. Yep, and that's all Esau does, remove the landmark. Mm -hmm. And then his justification is, well, y'all are fighting each other. Okay. Yeah, we were talking to some Edomite chick on the way uh, to the car after camp. She was saying, well, look, that was a long time ago. How am I privileged? I got a minimum wage job. You see, that's, and that's what they're saying now. Like, hey, look, we're all in this together, man. Yeah. We're all catching hell. You two-time loser. Yeah. You gotta hit up for reptiles, man. They go rob a bank. <clears throat> it says, uh, which they of old time have set in thy inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land of the Lord by power giveth thee to possess it. Yeah, see, and the Lord and the Lord gave these lands, man. Um, you get that uh, in the Deuteronomy 32nd chapter. The Lord divided the uh, inheritance, divided the nations. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy 32. And uh yep, in 32 and 8. When the most high divided to the nations their inheritance. When he separated the sons of Adam. Yeah, he separated the sons of Adam. Okay. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Yeah, yeah. So he, he set us up in our land and then he set all the other nations in their land according to according to that. Man. But first and foremost, we got the choice land. Okay, and then everybody else that got, got their land. So what business do you so-called white people have going and, and, and uh, conquering other people's lands, man? And then displacing them. And now, yeah, I'm watching uh, this thing on YouTube, uh, our RT, white people stole land versus uh, everyone is an immigrant in South Africa, debate on land reform. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait a second. What do you mean everybody's an immigrant? They're not, they're not immigrants. They've been there. They've been there, man. That's their land. Where that's, came down that's the land that the Heavenly Father appointed for them, okay? Little different, uh, those, those, uh, those Canaanites, okay. But see, now, now that, now that the judgment is coming, man, now, now Esau, he, he wants to, uh, he wants to cry foul, yeah, act as if he's the victim, man. You shouldn't have been there in the first place, man. Nobody, nobody told you to come over. You didn't get the invite, yeah. You, you, you're there illegally, 
And now and now you're being looked at as the illegal alien that you are, man. Yeah. Now it's a problem. Come on. Because Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yeah, also because he tra- I'll start at 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Mm-hmm. But the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, the just live by faith, which were the just. Go ahead. But yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. There's the point. He's a proud man that doesn't keep at home. And then when you tell him, he, he gets an attitude, man. And, you know, you're here illegally. Well, 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 everybody's an immigrant. Yeah. That's his thing. Everybody, everybody spreads diseases. Everybody murders. Okay. Hey, like Killmonger told the Edomite in the museum. He's all like, did you pay fair price for this? Or did you steal it? Right. You know? Yeah. These devils, these devils stole all of our ancient artifacts, and they, and we can't touch them. You know, it's crazy, man. We, we can't, we can't go and touch them. They do that to all the Gads, all the Judas, all the tribes, man. They hold, they hold all, all of our ancestors' bones, their jewelry, their pottery, everything. The Esau has it, man. But you gotta buy it back from him. Yeah. And then if you do try to buy it, they'll say, no, you can't buy it. This is, this is an artifact now. It's their property. property. Yeah. Yeah. It's their property. We're, we're holding it for, for history. Wait a second. You're supposed to return that to us, you damn devil. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, all right, let's let finish that off. Uh, is a proud man that he keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is death. He cannot be satisfied, but gathered unto him all nations, and he put unto him all people. That's that's Esau, man. That's the New World Order. Okay, that's what he wants. He wants to gather everybody together to enslave them, man. All right, so he can he can have uh, us and them other them other heathen nations under his jurisdiction. Okay, so pretty much he wants to put all these uh he wants to put his spirit on all these other nations, man, and actually download your spirit and, and then put your spirit somewhere else, man, into a damn animal or into his ass, man. Just madness. It, it, it makes no sense. Go, you got some more? It's good on that. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 1. And at that time, yeah. saith the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the and the bones of his princes uh-huh. and the bones of, their, of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the hosts to heaven. Whom they have loved. Yeah, and that's what Esau does, man. Because Esau, Esau doesn't take take this on faith. He has to go and he has to actually find the graves. He has to find the artifacts, the architecture. Uh, and, and then he's like, okay, well, like, yeah, this is real. I, I checked it out, man. And that's what he does, man. Which that's wicked, man. You're not supposed to dig up no one's no one's grave, but that's what he does, man. Okay, he talks about the bones. He actually uh. Over here at, uh, at Berkeley, UC Berkeley, they got drawn on those uh, bones there, man, yeah. under a fucking obelisk. Okay? Go ahead, brother. You got some more? <clears throat> and they shall spread before the sun <clears throat> and the moon and all the hosts to heaven, whom they have loved and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor be buried. They shall be for dumb upon the face of the earth. Mm. Yeah, that's our people, man. Let me feel dumb. They tell you that in Jeremiah, the 25th chapter. Hey, because we're getting on Esau yet, you know, a lot of our people, man, the majority of them, they're going to die right They're gonna die right along with this devil, man. Because they've been totally uh, indoctrinated <clears throat> by, by him. They, become, they became Edomites. Yeah. They become worse, worse yeah, than them. Yeah, yeah. Scriptures say that uh, their, their deeds have overpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. Especially them, black women, okay, so called black women. Through the spirit, we're gonna stay on you too, man. Because you because right. you, you joint heirs, just like we're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shine the Kingdom. You're joint heirs with the so-called white man in this kingdom. Right. Okay, you reap all these benefits. Okay, <laughs> you give us pure hell. Oppress us. Oppress us on a day to day. But it's okay because you're going down, man. That's right. You're going down. You saw the going down. All these other nations are going down. We're coming up, man. What you're seeing is the restoration of the kingdom of Israel. All right, right before your eyes. There's nothing you can do about it. You so-called white people, you're, you're you're falling all around the globe. That's some more of that article. Yeah, yeah, appreciate. It. I got appreciate. It. Okay, come on. This is a Job twenty-four and two. It says some remove the landmarks. Yeah, they violently take away flocks and feed their. That's that's the so-called white man, man. Remove landmarks and violently take them away. They tell you in Micah the second chapter, 
that the oppressive man, even a man in his heritage. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the so-called white man. And that's and, and see a lot of these movements they started as cultural movements, you know, or political movements like in South Africa. But now it's to the point where like, well, look, now we need the land. Yep. Okay? yep. We need economic justice. When we need control of the resources. And then Esau knew it was coming. And now they actually got petitions uh, for, for, for them Edomites over there, they call them Boers, to, uh, or Afrikaners, for them to uh, get lit into America or, 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 <laughs> Europe, or, or the European countries, man. As a refugee. Yeah, yeah, because they know what's coming down the pipeline. They know it's going to be a, a, a full genocide. And what's happening in South Africa, it's just a prelude to what's going to happen in, in all these countries where Esau is. So even, even over there in Europe, man, Esau is getting conquered, man. You see, you see, you see them Hamites, the Ishmaelites. They landing, they landing on shore. They look like they uh, an invading army going back to the time of Normandy. You know, you know the Jakes over there just hitting a white woman in the streets. You know, straight up, man. You know, because you know, so called Western culture. You you coming from a Muslim country? You you see you see a, a little woman, a little thick ass German chick, got titties popping out, ass up. See, he saw he. He's not bothered by that. He's not checking for that. He's looking for the little boys, man. But a real man is looking. He gets turned on, man. And then they saying stuff like, hey, slut, don't look me in the eyes. I mean, they're, they're, they're going hard on those hoes out there, man. And they coming in droves, too. They coming in droves. They keep coming, man. And they Because they're coming from Italy, and then they working their way up, man. Okay, but... Um, I got Bruce. Come on. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 6. He who smote the people in wrath... I saw that four, brother. All right, Isaiah 14 and 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have the oppressor ceased? How have the oppressor ceased? And you see it, man. A so called white man is through. He out there in the city of preaching, he looks all he, he looks all oppressed right, when the word comes out. Because before, back in the day, he used to kind of buck up. He used to talk, <laughs> shit. He used to talk a little shit. But but he been getting hit. He been getting hit so hard, man. He just he just looked he looked worn out, man. He defeated. He looked defeated. In spirit. It looked like he he looked like he the one in slavery, man. We're all upbeat, you know. Jake bringing out the word. We all fire. He saw us through, man. So the so called white man, he's ceasing right now, man. That's the time that we're in. His power is waning, okay. And and, and our power is starting to wax, okay. Because our our power is in others' world, okay. Our power comes from on high. Our power comes directly from the heavens. Go ahead, brother. The golden city seized. The golden city. You can't tell me that ain't talking about America. Okay, that's why everybody can uh, will come over here, man. Why? Because of the opportunities. Or the op opportunities to, to get gold. They Just like it, they call this the golden state. Man. Exactly. Yeah, you got the 49ers. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, the gold rush, yeah. and they saying that this is this this uh, this last ten years, this has been the new gold rush. That's what they call it, these techies. Mm -hmm. But look, now it's season, man. Now everybody's everybody's realizing that they really got set up. They came here just to get on opioids. Yep. They have seven roommates in the damn hate. You know, they well, the, the hate, the hate, they going crazy. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, 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 go that's, that's a violent neighborhood. That's the key to my hood. You know, that's the, you know, why? Because them curses are coming up on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You parked your car, the bug out went through it already, broke your windows, you've been in there, you know? Yeah, that's like a that's like a Fillmore mission Hunter's Point. Yeah, it used to be. Now those neighborhoods is cool. Yeah, well, no, I don't know, but that, yeah, yeah. You could, and then you go where he saw it. it. It's just like some it's some thug shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. The one the one the lady I was watching the uh news <laughs> the, the lady she said is a group of kids. Transients, right? Mm -hmm. Esau was a bum. The pit bull. <laughs> you, 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 a fucking vagabond. Yep. All right. There's pit bulls covering the sidewalk, man. She's scared to walk through. Mm -hmm. You know, because the dogs might attack her. She might say the wrong thing, and then them uh, violent uh, sodomites, okay, mm -hmm. and then they'll get mad and attack her, man. Mm -hmm. That's the nature of the so-called white man. He's mm -hmm. violent. Okay. The violent homosexual, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, brother. You got something? Oh yeah, I had a priest talking about that one. You get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Uh, this it's your soul a little bit. <laughs> yeah. This is Malachi uh, chapter one. And I'll start at chapter two. Yep. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau the <laughs> late. Yeah, so the Lord hates a particular group of people. It just so happens to be so-called white people, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
and lay his mountains and his heritage waste. Yeah, and that's and that's that that happened and it's getting ready to happen again, man. America's gonna be wholly destroyed, man. Right. He's gonna make it a burnt mountain. Okay, go ahead. For the dragons of the wilderness, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, <laughs> but we will return and build the desolate places. Oh, yeah, no, we're gonna make America great again. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build. But I will throw down. Yeah, you, you're trying to build up, you're trying to rebuild, but the Lord is about throwing it down. You're not even you're not even building anything. I mean, the hell is coming so fast at Esau, you don't know what to do, man. You got the one of his uh, uh, Trump's top aides, she had to resign. She threw his ass under the bus. <laughs> she snitched on him. <laughs> she snitched on him. She said that she lied on behalf of Trump. Yeah, yeah. The white woman, why? Cause this, cause this, cause this woman is coming against them now. See, all them cur all the curses, Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter, are coming upon the so called white man. That's right. All right. That's 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 what's, that's the time that right. That's what you got. Yeah, get it real quick. It's a uh, Deuteronomy thirty and seven. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies mm -hmm. and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Yeah, and it's mainly falling on our main enemy. Yep. Which is the so called white man, Esau. Yeah. Okay. All right, go back. Like, yeah, go. Because if you see the homeless population and all these people addicted to drugs, they're Elamites. They're yeah. not. They're not Moabites. It's not Elam. You know. Yeah. It's always a, a dirty cave animal beast Elamite man. Beast. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Shooting up the schools and shit. Oh yeah. 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 He's, yeah. The, he's the murderer. Yeah. He's the face of crime. Yeah. It does. He's the face of addiction. <laughs> he's the face of addiction. He's the face of crime. He's the face of sodomy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a violent homosexual. All perversion. That's the that's the so-called white man. We gotta finish that off some more. Uh, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Yeah, man. It's, there's no there's no way that you're gonna bounce back, man. Like we were saying, this ain't a big this ain't a big shot song, man. Uh, you took an L, you're gonna bounce. No, nigga. You out for the count, man. You ain't getting off, you ain't getting off this map. Remember wrestling? You they do the one, yeah, 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 two. Yeah, yeah. He always knew the niggas was gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get like right here, niggas. He turns to the Ultimate Warrior and get no. That's not. Yeah, that's not happening for you, so-called white people. Man, you done. Yeah, you gonna stay down, man. Go ahead, brother. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Yeah, the border of wickedness, meaning wherever the so-called white man rules, it's wicked there. Anything within his borders is wickedness. Which is why people want to uh, um, um, kick them out their land, man. Yeah, yeah. Cause now they got they got faggots. They already got little slut. They got little slut daughters. Everybody's bugged out. Everybody's depressed. No, nope. the culture is lost. You know, so they're like, nah, man. Pretty much, people want to go back to how it was before the so-called white man took over. Right, that's right. And that's what the most size about, man. Yet the most size about having it from its, its inception, man. With all you other nations in subjection as well. Because you other nations, you think that you're gonna. You having all these cultural movements, and you gonna bring back this empire? No, 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 no. There's gonna be one empire, man. One, one kingdom, man. A kingdom of uh, a kingdom of Israel. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Which is the kingdom of heaven? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, because uh, I was reading earlier a camp about the Gadites re rebelling against the missions, and they they interviewed some of the dudes that rebelled. They said, "What would you want?" And they said, "We wanted to kill the church. Fought, we want to kill the fathers, and and the the other guys we wanted to kill them." So we can return to our way of life, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the only way to return to life. You can't go and like negotiate so-called white man. Like, is, it, is it cool if I go back to my village and practice what, what I what I was doing before you came here? You can't do that. He wants you. Hey, we're of the prey departeth not, man. Right, mm -hmm. and, and he won't let us go. Right, he won't set us free. Damn devil. That's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on this is uh, James five and four. Behold, the hire of the laborers, which have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of seven. Yeah, Sabaoth. Sabaoth. Yeah, the Lord of armies, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So all, all, all of our people who've been catching hell, having to work for the so-called white man, be a slave, been crying out, man. And now the Lord hears it. And now the Lord is uh, putting those, those plagues upon the so-called white man. Okay, that what you intend to do to us is gonna fall upon you. All right, all right, got some more. Uh, yeah, Shamar, were you done? It was just like a little bit more. Okay, finish it off and then uh, hit back. So solid for. 
and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Yeah, so the Lord hates you forever, man, which proves you can't be saved. So, yeah. And again, Esau, Esau is, is doing everything in his power to be destroyed, man. He's doing a most. He's a no limit nigga. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You train on yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, nah, he, yeah that's, that's Esau, man. He's a he's a no he's a no limit nigga. All right, he doesn't want he doesn't want any rules, regulations. Okay, that's why the Lord has any nation against him forever, because he doesn't he will not conform at all to any righteousness. Hey, when you look at the word uh, any nation up, it means uh, anger uh, aroused by something perceived as unjust, unworthy. Mm. You know, and Esau's unworthy, man. He's unworthy of receiving the, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And he's he's unjust. You know, we we going into some of the uh the injustices that he's committed on the earth, man. He's an unjust steward, man. Yep. <clears throat> he's a he's a bad ruler of the earth, man. The nigga's not fair. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not fair, he's not equitable, it doesn't show any mercy. He don't work with you. you yeah. Know. <laughs> he don't let you slide on nothing. This it's nigga gets nigga get all type of passes. When it come to you, nigga, throw the book at you. Mm -hmm. You know, he says he's going to uh, prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what he says. He's vile. He'll, he'll make a new law to, to yeah. do such, too. Just to bring even more hell on you. Yeah. You know? Because they, the pack, they, oh, like, uh, you got that cruel and unusual punishment. But you saw me like, man, you know what? Fuck that, man. I want to fry this nigga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So he'll, so he'll make another law, yeah. you know, just to justify. Matter of fact, you get that in Psalms 94. Frame of mischief by mm. law, Psalm 94 and 20. That's the thing. Like uh going back to these Hamites. See, apartheid, but that was legal. Why? Yeah. Because that was a so-called white man's law. Yeah. That's why he'll say, oh, that was just a, that was just another time. That's how it was. That's how the law was back then. Yeah. You, know? you, can't, you can't judge me basically on that now because times are different. That's We're that's not living in those times anymore. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Damn devil, man. I bring it up, Psalm 94. Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Wait, the throne of iniquity, that's the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. nothing, nothing but sin. Okay, because that's that's how his that's how his uh that's how his empire runs, man. Yeah, like you have these idiots that are talking about, yeah, we need to uh we need to go into being isolationist and we need to make America first. You idiot, don't you realize that this this society is based upon the oppression of the whole world? Yeah. That's the only that's the only that's the only way that this place can go, man. Uh -huh. All Esau does is just hit licks. Okay, just hit slit. All right, you get you get kind of low. You hit you hit licks. Okay, you can, it, America just can't be by itself. America don't produce nothing, man. America is a service economy. America is a wartime economy too. They call it the uh, military industrial complex. Okay, so what do they do? They go they destroy a country. Okay, and then uh, and then they they have the contractors go in and rebuild it. All right, and and then the whole time they're making money because he didn't divide and ruled. And then he didn't, he didn't sell guns to all these different factions. And then he had them kill, get killed off. And then he sets up somebody who went to school in America, went to Harvard, who's actually from that land. All right. And then he, and then he got, now he got Taco Bell and Nicki Minaj music playing all over the goddamn place. Right? High level witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens. In 10 years, 10, 15 years, the whole, the, the whole, the old people is destroyed. And then what happens? You got a remnant that is like, nah, I ain't with that. Because kids, and then they grow up and they be terrorists. But then they're funded by the so-called white man too. Mm -hmm. See, this is what happens. And, 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 and anybody who speaks against that, guess what, man? You're bugged out. And you're a sodomite. Yeah, yeah you're a yeah. sodomite. Yeah. Yeah, I got a priest. Oh, guys, just love Finish more. Off. Which frameth mischief by a law? Which frameth mischief by a law? Matter of fact, I'm gonna look up, or if you can look up that word frameth, or whoever whoever did it first. Yeah, frame of mischief by a law. Because this white man, all he does is make new laws that don't make no damn sense, man. They're all evil. More ways, like the brother said, every, the, the America's, the reason why this economy works is because it exploits all these other nations, man. Yeah. And if you don't want to get with it, they'll just roll on you with their military. Yeah. It's just how Esau operates. We, and then you, yeah, like the brother said, these Edomites, oh, America first. Oh, we, we want America, we got to put our best interests that's a, that's a, that's, if you think America actually thinks like that, you're a bug out, man. America can't wait the 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 go uh, the call martial law, man. Get rid of the Constitution. All right, go go join a North American Union, become part of the New World Order. That's the plan of the elites, and they're and they're gonna write it in law, right? Just with the market chip, the microchip that's gonna be written in the legislation that everyone's gonna have to take a chip. 
All right, just like how the, the Supreme Court said they could indefinitely detain uh, illegals, man. You can't do nothing about it. That's the law. It's the law, man. Well, legal or illegal. If you got a green card, they could lock your ass up indefinitely, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they catch you. They catch you blowing a, a, a zero point, a point zero nine. You're through. They're gonna take you in. Yes, yeah, so that word is uh, Yatazar. Oh, you got it. Yeah, we are. It's, you got okay. It. Yeah, it's Yatazar. Uh, to mold into a form, especially as a potter, to determine, to earthen, to fashion, to form, to frame, to make. Okay, so it makes mischief by law. Okay, which which we see that man. Everything, yeah, because everything that that he does now, he feels justified because he's the law. Yeah, because he he went through he went through his uh his uh legislature. He went through the the House of Reps, the Senate. Oh, see, see, so everybody had a oh, oh, and then. You bug out to actually think that your uh your representatives actually represent you. Yeah, hey, go 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 write Zoe Lofker and tell her to fight him. That, that, that shit don't mean nothing, man. But but then Esau said, Well, look, you know, your representative, your representative uh passed this into into law. So yeah. you had a you had a vote. You had a vote. <laughs> you should have just talked to your rep. Because that's how Esau has it, man. Like they, they read your letters. Yeah, like to actually read your letters. No, nah, I mean, you know what they read? They read them damn paychecks that they get, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's legal. Oh, and that's legal. Yeah, yeah. Bribery lobbying. is actually yeah, lobbying. That's what they call it. Which that's bribery. Legal bribery. That's legal. That's legal bribery. That's wicked. Yeah. That's wicked. Yeah. It's uh, it's in the so-called white man's law. So so it's justified, yeah. right? Yeah, because if you get framed, what does that mean? Someone set your ass up. Yeah. I've been framed, and that this is so-called white man. All he doing is framing people, man. Setting your ass up for destruction. Yep. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Beautiful. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Uh, yeah, unrighteous decrees. Oh, are you 35% of your damn paycheck got to go to the so called white man? Where you even touch it, man. Yeah. And, you, and then you, you idiots, you get it. You get amped up when, when, when February and March come around. You ain't even getting everything back, man. Yeah. You're getting a fraction of what he stole from your ass, man. What he stole from you. Niggas be happy, man. Yeah, and then wait a second. They, they say that uh, the taxes, they had taxes go to the police and the roads. And what well, the police, the police is putting two in you, man. Two or 12. Okay. Billy Cubby tasing you. Okay. Uh, uh, rape, raping your daughters. They hitting the police, they hitting the legs. They run on yeah, the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they getting paid so much that the tax dollars that's coming from your check before you even touch it, if they getting paid so much, they're so happy with their job. Why are they hitting legs? Yeah. They robbing drug dealers, yep. putting it back on the streets, selling it, reselling it. Mm -hmm. Hoeing ho out bitches. Yeah, they doing yeah, it all, right, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah these, those are the real criminals. Yeah, the cops, man. The cops. Yeah. Well, 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 well there, there was a study in Baltimore. Crime went down, man. They yeah. got rid of some cops and crime actually went down. Why? Because they're they're the criminals, man. Yeah. And, and furthermore, like I say, furthermore, yeah, the, 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 whole, the whole concept of the criminal, criminal justice system is to actually have criminals. Mm -hmm. So they're whole, yeah. they're whole, they're they're not they're not there to actually take all the criminals off the street. They're just there to mitigate and just uh, uh, damage control yeah. or how Esau how he gives you something to cover up the symptom. Because if they take up all the criminals off the streets, all right, there'll be no more judges, no more no more police uh -huh. officers, no more bailiffs, no more uh, 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 correctional officers. That's no all. more lawyers. Yeah, and that's a uh, and those those prisons, man. You got private private uh, for profit. Um, corporations, yeah. man. Yeah. They're so their stocks are sold on Wall Street. Exactly. So it's so they give that's more incentive for them to have niggas in jail, man. Yeah, yeah, and they actually tell they give counties bonuses for giving them more yeah. uh, criminals yeah. to, to store in their facilities. Yeah. And they made deals with like in Arizona, right? They made deals to the point where if if you don't give them so much uh, uh, prisoners or whatever, the the state has to pay millions of dollars. Yeah. yeah. All right, because they didn't give them enough prisoners, so that's why they're over there. That's why they're locking up your damn wetbacks. All right, all you illegals. That's why you're they're going after y'all, man. Yeah, like you know, like these people say, well, hey, man, if you don't want to go to jail, man, just don't 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 commit crime. Yeah. Look, man, you saw you saw create a crime, yep. and then you yep. did it, nigga. Yeah, yeah. you done it. We <laughs> yeah, we seen it, man. I've seen that with my own eyes, man. You saw plant drip. Is this yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's true. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> With my own eyes, try to drop the dope. You drop the dope. Is this you? <laughs> no, hell no, you know that ain't mine. 
Number one. Uh, furthermore, this whole economy would crash if you if you took the the the, the so called uh, crime off the streets. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, because this whole America is predicated on crime. It's predicated on being uh, a drug addict, a drug dealer, pharmaceuticals. It's part of the economy. Yeah. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. what's his? Uh, I was watching off and El Chapo, the DEA guy. He says, uh, he says to one of the high level guys, he said, "Our interest is not to stop the drug trafficking. You know, we're here to control it." Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. They're not. They don't. They're just the. Oh, we got to take drugs off the streets. No, they just want to control it. They want yeah. to funnel it in their way and take all the money. You, you, Edomites are getting the elites. That money, the drug money, goes straight to the elites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then creates jobs, so to speak. Yeah, that's yeah. The thing. Well, the prison labor. It creates mm -hmm. criminals. You know, the the, the 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 those prisoners that go to jail, man. You saw put the niggas to work for ten cents a day. Yeah, yeah sure. slavery. Know? License plates. Tell yeah. the community. Legal Patients. slavery. It's legal slavery. Yeah, well, it's in the law. Yeah, it's in the law. What, what, can, you, what can you do? They, 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 use, the they use that to say they don't have to pay Jake for NCAA. Yep. They, they use they, they they quoted a 13th Amendment in a ruling to say, yo, that's why we don't have to pay uh, Jake for playing basketball in March Madness. It's completely okay. madness. Yep. It says, uh, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what they prescribe, man. They write it down. They write it into law, man. Okay, and they have some. They have some. And how do they prescribe it? Through a sociologist, through a psychologist, mm -hmm. through a criminologist. So called expert. Yeah, expert. And this, and this is a, it's a bugged out slut, man. Yeah, a straight, just a, a straight slut. And all she did was go through Esau's, uh, uh, what do you call that? Esau's maze. What's the other word? Uh, like when you go through a, not a, uh, not a, yeah, yeah, but uh. Avenue. Like when you have a um, when you got like a uh, yeah, there you go, like Esau's obstacle course, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all. That's, yeah, all, that's, that's, all, that's all. That's all it is. You yeah. just you survived. You went yeah. through, yeah. and so now Esau's like, okay, I can trust you. You went through the <laughs> obstacle course. You think like me now. <laughs> that's what that's for. So yeah, you, yeah. you you can think like him, and then and then exactly. he'll give you a little nice one hundred twenty thousand dollars stamp of approval. Yeah, a little stamp of approval. Yeah, but you're in four hundred thousand dollars worth of debt. So you you're a slave the rest of your life. To turn aside the needy from judgment. Who's the needy, man? The Israelites. We're the needy, man. Go ahead. And to take away the right from the poor of my people. That's it, man. And that's what it, and that's and that's all it does. That's all these laws do, man. They just suppress Jake, man. All the is then people say, well, look, man, you, if you black people, if you don't you don't want to go to jail, stop doing crime. Look, everybody does crime, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody is a so-called criminal. None more than Esau. Yeah, yeah. really, Esau's the real criminal. Niggas, niggas see. These laws aren't aren't meant for for the elites, man. These laws are meant to govern the regular ass people, man. It's it's, it's meant to govern the slaves, which were the slaves, man. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what laws are set up to do, man. And and Esau, he's not criminalized. See, Esau Esau actually does crime that affects you people, man. Global economies. Yeah, global economy, mm -hmm. and he gets hit with fines, like okay, forty billion. Yeah. But nobody think he get hit with like he get hit with three hundred felonies. Now wait a second, a nigga get hit with one felony, that nigga's doing three years minimum. Esau don't ever go to jail, man. Well, uh, look at what happened with HSBC a few years back when they got caught uh, laundering money for the drug cartels, man. They mm -hmm. got hit with a fine. You know, anybody else do that, they would have been looking at prison time, man. And well, Rico, 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 uh, Rico, Rico time too, man. Which that's the that's the shit that they came up with to deal with the mob, you know, back in I think it's like the eighties and the nineties. They get you on some some federal racketeering, getting racketeering, yeah, getting, yeah, yeah. all that shit, man. You man, you doing at least seventy years, man. Yeah, federal prison is no joke. Yeah, bring your ass to Leavenworth in Kansas. It's like the main one. You you and you and you you don't see no sunlight twenty three hours out the day, man. And then and then you just can't go to no county court. You gotta go to federal court, and then you. They'll see you when they see you, man. Oh, You're yeah. That that widows may be their prey, mm -hmm. and that they may rob the fatherless. Yeah, yeah. And then you got these you got these jakes that's just out there left unprotected, man. Okay. And then where are they going? They going right into prison, man. And what will you do in the day of visitation, and in the day and in the desolation which shall come from the far, which shall come from far? Woo! From far, they come. What comes from far, man? The missiles. They come from the far, from a far country. Yeah. Even the Lord and the weapons of His indignation. See what you gonna do? Hey, like what was uh, what was it, Macho Man? It was a Hulk Hogan. What you gonna do? 
Yeah, Macho Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Savage. Yeah, yeah. Savage. Yeah, like, come get you. Some shit like that. But yeah, the Lord is coming to get you, though, man. The Lord, the Lord, remember, the Lord, the Lord, oh, this bitch ass eat, man. I got I to gotta take care of this guy now. Come on, bro. You come up. Yes. Yeah. This is, uh, hey, man, you do the crime, you got to do the time, man. That's, that's what you tell us. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Isaiah 31 and 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And the horse is flesh and not spirit. And the Lord shall stretch out his hand. Both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall they shall they all shall fall together. That's right, man. Hey, though hand join a hand, the wicked shall not be in punishment. Yeah, there's nothing you can do to say the so-called white man. Okay, he's on the, the creator's hit list. Yeah, okay. And he's been there forever. Now he's just getting ready to actually execute the judgment. That's all. Why and why and why is he going to do that? Because the so-called white man has framed mischief by his own wicked ass law instead of following the law, statutes, commandments that were set up, man, for 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 rulers to uh, rule. I'll say that in what's that? Surah, the tenth chapter. Oh, actually, you know what? Wisdom of Solomon, the sixth chapter. Y'all. That's the one. Then we'll go back to the article and you know try to wrap it up. You went from the top. Uh, was in the Psalm 6, yeah, from the top. It's uh, Wisdom of Sol- Solomon 6 and 1. Uh, Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand, learn ye that uh, that be judges of the ends of the earth. <laughs> Give ear ye that rule the people in glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord. And See, Solomon- the, the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked by, mm-hmm. by the Heavenly Father, man. That's right, okay. So, so for power, he was given you on high. From on high, go ahead. In sovereignty from the highest, mm-hmm. who shall try your works and search out your counsels? And that's what's happening. That's what's happening right now. Okay. All right. Said, because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged aright, mm-hmm. nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you. Horribly and speedily Ooh. shall he come. Okay. The Lord, hey, when the Lord destroyed this place, it's only going to take 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. What does it say? In one hour, so great riches are coming to naught, man. Food. Go ahead. For a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in the high pla- in high places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all you elites, man. A sharp judgment. Go ahead. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person, mm-hmm. neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The Heavenly Father isn't looking all man's great, man. <laughs> yeah, he got, he got <laughs> missiles. He got missiles, man. He, he <laughs> got took down missiles. The, I, I can't fuck with him, man. The Lord, the Lord created the missiles, man. <laughs> Tell you that in Isaiah 54, chapter. He still missiles. got tanks. Yeah, you think that, you know, and the, the Lord, the Lord, man, the Lord sent an angel down. Shut all this down, man. You're saying Leviathan has oh. ships. Yeah. Yeah, look good with Leviathan. Love playing with some ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. All right, come on. For he hath made the small and great and care for all of life. Mm-hmm. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. For they that keep holiness holily shall be judged holy, and they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Mm-hmm. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Mm-hmm. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away, yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. That's good, that's, that's, good. Good. that's, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, it says black South Africans need to take their land back from white foreigners. The leader of Black First Land First told RT. <laughs> However, the president of the Trans Baal Agricultural Union said this will lead to an Arab Spring. South Africa's parliament voted on Tuesday in favor of new legislation that could see land from white farmers seized without providing any compensation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which why why should they compensate them? It's not their land in the first place, man. And then you got some some of them devils. They're like, well, uh, they said, well, th- y'all are coming up with some narrative that uh, that the white people that had the lands because they stole it. Well, what 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 what, what, exactly what, what, what the hell happened here, man? Yeah, they buy it on the market. You you buy it, market? Yeah, you buy it. You come. You're like, hey, I got some money. I got some. No, man, you stole it, man. You put them to death. You took it. All right, then you, then you put them. You put them out. And you put them in. 
you you put them in uh in, in little barracks outside of the cities, man. And you say, say again, extreme poverty and extreme poverty like uh Soweto, which that's like an acronym for some townships outside of Johannesburg and Moapa was them Hamites, which some of our people was sprinkled in amongst them too. They would have they would just they would just migrate into Johannesburg work and then they would go right back there, man. And then uh, Esau, what he would do if he wanted to take the land, he'll come and he'll bulldoze the um, he'll bulldoze their what do they call them the uh, the townships? Townships, yeah. He'll bulldoze the townships. And my, I remember my father; he went back to South Africa. He was telling me about that. How Esau, if he wanted the land, he'll bulldoze the whole township. And these are like 10, 10 houses. Okay, he'll bulldoze them with people in it. Yeah. You know, kill the people mm -hmm. just so he can take the land, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you did that. You did that. Everywhere your red ass went, all right, the whole planet Earth. Now the now the Earth is fighting back, all right. Starting with all these other heathen nations. Yeah, yeah. You gonna get you you getting put out of the land now? You and know? now now you're now you're crying. Now you're oppressed. Yeah. Now, now it's reverse racism. racism. Yeah. All yeah. of a sudden. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, you, you, you liable. Yeah, see that's what, but that's why you might be getting beat up out here, man. Because you know you 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 have a conversation about race and he saw pulls this shit, man. <laughs> You know, they, not everybody is as uh, patient in yeah. the spirit as us, man. Yeah. Which is why, which is why we're reading about yeah, this. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I mean, taking it no more. They're like, man, you're, you're out. Of, you're like, you're out. Of, you're you're a no limit nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. you're a no <laughs> limit nigga. That's Esau, man. Esau is no. That's Esau's new, new term. And you're the, 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 the no limit nigga, man. <laughs> NLN, man. That's Esau, man. Where okay. Um, it's Isaiah fourteen and six. He who smote the people in red yeah, yeah, yeah. with a continual stroke. He that oh, a continual stroke. Yeah, he's, well, never it, showed, it never stopped. We'll show you that uh, America has been in war for what ninety three percent of this existence. Okay, that's Esau's spirit, man. To kill, to still kill and destroy, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, like like uh, Metallica. Okay, what they say, kill them all. Oh, yeah. Well, we're saying that's a demonic song. It's about Esau. It's about it's about it's about uh what did it say exit light inner night. Yeah, it's an exit light inner night. Off the never ever land. The white man's sick. He's a yeah, demon he's man. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a no limit. Show up. He's a no limit. <laughs> yeah, okay, go ahead, man. He that rode the nations in anger. Is persecuted and none to hinder it. Mm -hmm. And why, why, why do they not hit? Why are they not hindering? Because they've been, they've been catching up. Hey, brother, give me name in the third chapter. You got some more? No, that's that was it. Okay, name in the thir third chapter. Yeah, because when you so-called white people are getting beat up in the streets and the race wars, because the race wars are going to be televised. People yeah. are like, damn, hundreds of Edomites got killed today. <laughs> you know, no one's going to feel no type of way. People want to be like, well, that's what happens in America. All right, that's what happens. Just like what's happening in South Africa right now. That that's just a low. That's low level, man. Because when it comes, when it goes down here in America, Jake is strapped out here. Yeah, oh yeah. Jake is heavily strapped. Esau's heavily strapped. So it's just gonna be all out bloody streets, man. And niggas are crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah niggas are crazy. All twelve tribes. All twelve The spirit, the spirit's gonna switch up. Right now, you see niggas all over social media. Rapping about, about Jack and Chains. Pretty soon, it's not going to be about Chains. to be like, yo, I just shot a human in his face. And then we'll be, be like, live. yo, this nigga got clout. It's going to be what? It's going to be We've been saying that. We've been saying that in the spirit for a while, man. And that's been happening a lot more. A lot. Yeah, lives. Oh, man, this one old nigga got killed. <laughs> <laughs> he got popped. He was like, man, this is live. This nigga ain't care. <laughs> remember, yeah. uh, remember the heat of mine got beat up by them niggas? Was it Atlanta? The Chicago. The Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and them, I think them niggas got off, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got off. But that's just a prelude to what's going to be happening um, in these streets, man, they're all just, around the world. They're just yeah. troubled kids, man. They ain't no better. Yeah, they're yeah. trying yeah. to have a lot like, of hate crimes. Yeah, yeah. But they're just yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're they're bullied. Bullied. They were bullied. They were bullied. Yeah, they were suffering, yeah. Yeah. suffering from racism. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You know, they're suffering from the so-called white man coming in the land, all right, uh, uh, still in the land, <laughs> kill, killing their family, you know. They're they're suffering they're suffering from those their post traumatic stress syndrome. That's it. Post traumatic slave slave disorder, man. Yeah. That's all. They just need help. They just need counseling. That's all. They just need counseling. They just needed a better environment. You know. They need a program. They need love. They need a program. Jobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a name when you want to start the top one. Three and uh. At the end. 
Uh, no healing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that was Sorry, 18. Okay, now this is uh, Nahum 3 and 18. Thy shepherds slumber. Yes, yeah, Esau's shepherds slumber, man. Ain't nobody uh, watching out for Esau now. Okay. <laughs> So they, oh, kings of Assyria, by right, which which Assyrians is talking about who so called white men, all right? Go ahead. Thy nobles shall dwell in the dust, which dust represents confusion. Go ahead. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains, mm -hmm. and no man gathereth them. Yeah, no man, no man gathers them. No one cares, man. There's no healing of thy bruise, man. There's no healing of the so called white man's bruise. Uh, remember, yeah, Humpty Dumpty. I yeah, fall and yeah, I can't yeah. get up. That's Esau, man. You fall Esau. and you can't, you can't get back up. Do it. It says, thy wound is grievous. Mm -hmm. All that hear uh, the uh, brute of thee shall clap their hands over thee. Mm -hmm. And upon whom has thou not, has not thy wickedness passed continually? Mm -hmm. It says, for upon whom has not thy wickedness passed continually? Yeah, for upon whom has not thy wickedness passed continually? Like it says, uh, a continual stroke. Yep. Okay, so so now you're done. Nobody cares, man. Nobody's trying to help your ass. Nobody trying to. Uh, well, the dude said in the other uh, article, he said, "Now's not the time for reconciliation. Now's the time for justice." Man. Mm -hmm. He ain't trying to sit down and have talks with you because they, they they already know what you're all about, man. It's fruitless, it's the devil. Yeah, that's it's fruitless. You're trying trying to uh, negotiate with the so-called white man is fruitless. Yeah, he only understands violence. Okay. All right. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it says the motion bought by the leader of the, rad of the radical Marxist opposition party, economic freedom fighters, Julius uh, Malima. Yeah, they call that radical, though. It, it's radical for you wanting to have your land back. This is some, this is some like big thing. That's common sense, man. Uh, passed by a wide margin of 241 votes for 283 against. See, so everybody was with it. Everybody is. Yeah, spirit, <laughs> spirit. Everybody with it, man. RT discussed this move with uh, and Andal Mexitama, or some Hamite name, and founder of Black First Land First, and Louis uh, Mient, just president of the Trans Baal uh, Agricultural Union. The first leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters Party said that the land was stolen. Mm -hmm. Who stole it and when? So this is the question they asked him. White people do not own the land inside Africa legally. White people arrived here from Europe in 1652 and killed our people, stole our land, oppressed us. All the land they had taken, all the land they have was taken from us by force and in many instances by massacres. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's we true. are in fact correcting an injustice and a massive illegality which has happened in the country since the arrival of white people. Illegality, man. The Esau, man, framing that mischief through his law, man. So we're like, man, fuck all that. They're like, no, 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 no. That that was you. That, it was law, but it was it was illegal. Yep. Okay. That your law, your laws were illegal because mm -hmm. you wasn't supposed to be here in the first place to establish no type of rule of law. Go ahead. As a black person in this country, I speak to you now. I am a foreigner. I am a landless person in my own country. Thanks. Ninety percent of us black people have now agreed that finally we must resolve the matter, which even Nelson Mandela did not resolve that the land of black people must be returned to the rightful owners so that we can become citizens and the country can return to us. That's right. Because <laughs> Nelson Mandela, when he was really set up, was that, okay, just put a black face in there and let white ownership continue. Yo. Mm -hmm. Because the, the main battle was, yo, we own the land. Why are you white people own anything? Man? You stole everything. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing here in America. But nobody's on that, 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 that level because our people are through. Okay. Right? You can see these Hamites are in the spirit, man. These other nations are getting in the spirit. <laughs> yep. The other nations, you see North Korea, you see how they be uh, talking that big shit? They're in the spirit, man. They're not They're not dealing with you Edomites right now. Yeah. They ready. They, there's no, if you go over there on like, there's good white people, they'll laugh at you in the face, man. But for real? All right, cool. We still got getting missiles ready to destroy America. Yeah. Yep. Right? Go ahead. Uh, it says, why do you think this law is unfair? The history of South Africa is well documented by various people over the 365 years. We are all visitors to South Africa, including the black tribes of South Africa that came from the north. That is well documented. They came in, they killed each other for the land and took the position of other black tribes. They were the first occupants of South Africa. We're the Khosan. So if there's an argument who owns the land, that should be the Khosan. If we talk about colonists, 
who was the columnist. Is that Esau? That's it, yeah. Nah, this is uh, this is so the Hamite. Well, it's like some Esau. Yeah, that's not like an Edomite. <laughs> who was? Yeah, this is some other dude. That's probably Esau. Yeah, that's Esau. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Esau. Esau. You're trying to justify. Yeah. That's someone in the spirit of Esau, at yeah. least. Yeah. yeah. It said they came in, they killed each other for the land, they took the position of other black tribes. They were the first occupants of South Africa. <laughs> well, they stole it too, in other words. Yeah. Esau. So, so they, they stole it so we could come in and steal it. Yeah. What, what? 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 How do you know that, man? You're the devil. Keep going. It says so if there's an argument who owns the land, that should be the Khoisan. If we talk about colonists, who is the colonists? I did not arrive here in 1652. My forefathers came very late in the 1800s. <laughs> My father-in-law yeah. came here in 1953. He bought land here. He was issued title for this land. Currently, the last 20 years, a lot of land has been bought and issued by the new government to people that gives them legal right. Hey, someone should have, someone should have formed that email. You got to say it. Yeah, you know, that's how he says it, too. Yeah, yeah. Proud as hell. Yeah, it's proud as hell. Pious. Hey, someone should inform informed Esau that uh, Europe's for Europeans and Africa's for Africans. Someone should inform that. Yeah, I think Esau yeah. tapping into something. Yeah, probably. Hey, uh, Esau, you're going into slavery. Got it. Right? Cut. You're cut. Yeah, You're cave cut. Okay, you, you know that nigga. Cut. Homosexual cave cut. Yeah. Yeah. You know that nigga. Cut. You gonna have you gonna have limits placed upon you, man. It's gonna right. be nothing but no limits. Limit yeah. yeah, no limit cave cut. <laughs> he says, uh, if anybody's got an issue that goes back to the history and put the history in place, <laughs> but it is well documented. Uh, RT says, why is this legislation uh, necessary now? Devil, man. So they're talking to the uh, the other guy now, I believe. Yeah, AM. That's why you can't debate with Esau, man. You just yeah. gotta beat his ass. Yeah. He's always gonna say some some crazy shit. And he knows and he knows and he knows that he's wrong too. Yeah. You know, he knows he's being the devil. He's just trying to get out of it, man. Yeah, that don't work no more. Your witchcraft is uh, wearing off. Yeah, because then people be like, Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's right, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe we should get our land that people will consider that and put some demons on them. You know? mm -hmm. So it says uh, why is this legislation uh necessary now? This is talking to the uh, the Hamite, or directed towards the Hamite. Our movement, Black First, Land First, is absolutely clear. A person like the one who is now my opponent is a foreigner in South Africa and a land thief. Mm. <laughs> talking about Khoisan, I'm Khois I am Khoisan. He right. can't say my surname, which is that Hamite shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't say it either. I'm not Hamite. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he can't because he is a foreigner. The yeah. Khoisans are Africans like all oh, the Zulus, the Bendas. The uh, the Canaanites, the Hoysas, mm -hmm. all the tribes of this country. White people have, in fact, massacred and genocide the Khoisan, and they have not paid reparations, nor have they acknowledged this. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. The Khoisans will get land. <laughs> Cut them. That's right. That's a fucking cut. <laughs> yeah, so you Edomites, you haven't received your judgment, man, for all the hell you did put on the people on the earth, man. You're a fugitive. And especially, yeah, the fugitive from justice. Yeah. And, and, as you, as, especially when it comes down to the Israelites, man, mm -hmm. right? And Yahweh Shai, he's going to be the one that's going to catch, slave catch your damn doubles, man, and, and bring that justice. Keep going. Hey, we're continuing on. It says, we are tired. 23 years of the democracy, we remain landless in our own country. <laughs> as black people, finally we agree we are going to take back our land. <laughs> right. We as BLF are even worried that parliament is moving slow. And we don't trust <laughs> politicians. Oh, they are amazing. using this land thing as a political ball instead of addressing the issue. We have given the parliament too much to amend the constitution. If they don't do so, BLF will escalate land occupation. That's when right. our land was taken, there was no law. There was no constitution. Mm. There was no consultation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Going to that old ancient life spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Taking back what's theirs. Yeah, because that's what Esau did it. Esau didn't go and petition anybody. He just took it. Yep. He murdered and took it. But now he wants you to do it the right way. Yeah, so so called right yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's the right way for him is go through the, the bureaucracy. Yeah, his, his shit. Yeah, just He's never wait. gonna have to yeah, let, right, let, right. Let, let the law run its course. Yeah, kick, yeah, kick so. in the can down the road, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they ain't they ain't playing with that, man. They ain't they ready to take like look, the problem is moving too slow, man. What's the dude said? He said, Look, I'm not advocating for violence against uh, the farmers. Not yet. Because the parliament moves slow enough, they're going to they gonna say, fuck that, man. All right, kill them. Put them to death, take the land, and we're going to be good. All right? Yeah. 
Well, that's that's what it's gonna come down to. I mean, anyway. yeah, you gonna get put to death, Esau. Yeah, because Esau, Esau is not gonna. Yeah, Esau is gonna do some fuck shit. You know. It says the law is meant to correct the historical injustice against black farmers. Why are you against that? Talking to the Edomite. How would you correct the injustice? Could the law be changed in a way that would be satisfactory to white farmers too? Thank you, fucking Esau. There have always been plans on the table put to government to have them to solve the land issue. At the moment, these laws are in place for people who have been dispossessed. And that process is in the hands of the government. The problem with this government is that it is not dealing with it properly. There is a lot of corruption involved, and that is why the whole process is not going as it should go. blaming it on him. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is a government problem. It is a capacity problem within government, and it is a money problem. We have invested a lot of money in the properties, and we need to be paid if government takes it back. But at the moment, corruption is a big problem. This is not a farmer's problem. This is a government problem not dealing with the issue that's stipulated by the laws that they made. <laughs> this thing is just crazy, man. No limit. No limit. Doesn't this kind of legislation undermine property rights? Isn't this a governmental issue? Our government must provide support, but that is not part of the conversation. We don't have the land. The land is in foreigners' hands. Mm -hmm. Who are the colonists? Who are arrogant and racist? <laughs> we are talking as a black majority who have been wronged, and now we are addressing this question. You are wrong to say land occupation is wrong. This is the best way to get back our land. We are not going to wait for politicians. Mm -hmm. The time is over for white people in this country to continue to steal our property. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, the whole side put a script on these, these heathen, man. Yeah. Uh, what does the script to say? Wake up the mighty man. Yep, yep. All, all these nations, they were once sleep, but now the Lord's putting the spirit on them to get back into that ancient the state, to see who the problem is on the planet Earth. Yep, it's and, so -called white and it's a so-called white man. There's nobody else it could be. Yep. Mm -hmm. you know, not where and who is he? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Just two more uh, little paragraphs. Said, what about what happened in Zimbabwe, where the farms that were transferred to black farmers ended up being unproductive? Isn't that isn't there a danger of that repeating Esau. in South Africa? Well, this is just RT, you know, oh, okay. asking the question, then Esau is going to respond. Oh, boy. It is not just the production levels that drop down. If this goes on, investment in this country would stop. People invest that from who? So called white Esau. Yeah. yeah. People won't invest in the country. We will go the same way as Zimbabwe. There won't be production. Then we'll have Arab Spring in South Africa about food that is not available to people of South Africa. And that is our issue. We are here to produce food. 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 The commercial farmer in South Africa does not put a tag on his food. He produces for a whole South Africa, and we should look at that. There are opportunities to solve this problem, but not in a way Comrade and Dilla says that that is racist. You want it is not good for South Africa. It will destroy. It. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they want to. They want to. Uh, uh, they want to make the food. They don't need you eating mice to do it. Yeah. They want to go in there and take over the operation, and kick y'all ass out like they should. Man, how hard is it to? Farm some damn yeah, land, yeah. man. If can't, you saw these yeah, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> some more. That was it. Okay, let's get some last three steps. Yeah. I got one. Okay, come on. Daniel uh, eight and twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Daniel's policy also he shall cause crack to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy me. As he saw, man. Yep, yep, yep. By peace shall destroy me. That's the tip that he's doing, man. Oh, let's be peaceable, man. Don't don't be racist. Just be equitable. Let, let them all work. Hey, man, we're all equal now. Yeah. We're, uh, yeah. Uh, we're all equality. Hey, man, I'm growing food for all of the whole country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put, I put one in my property, man. Yeah. You can't take, you can't take it from me. Without uh, compensation. It's not fair. That's, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you, your, your four or five stole the land, man. So he, he saw a piece of work. Man. Yeah, yeah. He's something else. He's something else, bro. Uh, anything else? This is uh, Zechariah 11 and uh, 5. Oh, boy. Good. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Man, that ain't the white man. I don't know who that's talking about, man. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. He always got an excuse, man. Yep. He always got to validate. He's always, he always got a way to validate and justify himself. I bought this land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you put money in this property. You, your forefathers stole it. Yeah. Then you got some money. You put money into the property. Money now, that was now, now, yeah. now you wanna you, you, you actually believe that you have some some right to it, man. Hey, but if I steal a fucking car 
and I put the shit on dubs. You know, I get the fucking candy paint on it. I get the, the fucking sunroof put in there. Yeah. You know, I get the beat in the back. Yeah, yeah. The car still stole it. Still stole the car. You know, yeah. I get pulled over. I'm gonna go to jail. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm gonna be like, nah, look, you know, I want my friends that day. I'm gonna be like, nah, you shouldn't have put it on there. Yeah. Why did you do that? Yeah, yeah. why did you do that? It's not your car. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's car is gonna gonna get an upgrade. Oh yeah. Hey, you know? but hey, hey. Uh, before we came, the northern tribe, the people came from the north. Yeah, and yeah. They fuck you, man. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. People just talk about, see, people ain't about to talk. You just like, all right, man, this got to kill this nigga. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what it's getting to. Like, you can't you, reason with You can't reason with yeah, you know? yeah, you can be dealing with the white. He's fuck, guys. Yeah, he got, he, he, he got, he got to fucking come back for everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like a bitch. That's the spirit. Yeah, like, like, arguing with a bitch. Arguing with a bitch, man. You got to, you know, I ain't going to, you know, do it. <laughs> You know? Yeah, <laughs> y'all know. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all know what it is. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Too, Esau sometimes would say, you know, and we legitimately took it over. Like it was war. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like we did it through war, so like, you know, hey, what do you want to do? But wait a second. So why why can't they wage war? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why <laughs> what? Wait, what they're all saying? What's good for the goose is good for the gander, man. You know, if it was good for you, why why what's what's the problem? Why can't nobody else do it? That was racist. What's different? How? Uh, that was that was the 18th century yeah, mind. We, we we evolved. We're, we're equal saying? now. You said reverse racism now. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's see, that's why. But see, Esau knows he's full of shit. That's why he don't really come up no more. You know? <laughs> he just be on. He just be on. You know, he just be on a cop. He just be on the comma board talking shit. You know. <laughs> didn't you didn't do nothing, devils? All right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. That's Esau, man. I, you got an excuse for everything. That wasn't me. I was my forefathers. <laughs> Isaiah, you hear Isaiah four. That's why you don't want to deal with the scriptures, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Scriptures cut. The scriptures destroy his his yeah. his his logic. All right, yeah. go ahead. And they that sell, uh, they say, "Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich." Yeah, because now because this is what Esau was saying. But now it's okay. That was unfortunate. He wasn't like that when he was taking us down. Yeah. He was he was glorying in it, man. Yeah, he had parties. Yeah, you know, Thanksgiving is a celebration yeah. of that. And then when you go into the history of Thanksgiving, it was multiple celebrations. Man. It wasn't just one. Yep. Every time he took down one of the uh, the native tribe, he conquered a village. This nigga threw a feast, man. Mm-hmm. And it, it got so bad that the damn president said, look, man, y'all just have one for the year. You know? Mm-hmm. So this nigga, he was partying, man. Mm-hmm. At our destruction. Living it up. You know, getting the trunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them yeah, not. Yeah, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. The Lord gave me this. Manifest destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the flip side of what's What's the end of manifest destiny? <laughs> that you're going to be exterminated forever, man. That's right. You, yeah, you didn't consider that. All right. I know. <laughs> this is a Psalm 73 and 8. Oh, this is good. They are corrupt yeah. and speak wickedly concerning yeah. oppression. That's Esau, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, That's yeah, what he just yeah, did, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He's corrupt and he speaks yeah. wickedly. Hey man, well, 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 you guys are fighting each other. <laughs> that's the shit. That's 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 Esau's main thing, man. Y'all ready to put money in, into the land? Y'all about to plow? I tilled the land. I sowed my seeds already. He ain't doing none of that. He's got, he got, he got, got orchards. Well, he hired him. Yeah, he hired him. Yeah, he hired him. Exactly. He paid, he paid, he paid him slave wages to get out of the field. Let's yeah. all collect them the check, man. You, know? you got it. Let's double got it, bro. Yep. That's right. Go ahead. They speak loftily. They speak loftily, man. That's the so called white man. His soul, which is lifted up, yep, is not a his soul, which is lifted up, which means what he's lifted up with pride. Okay, go ahead, bro. That was it. All right, anything else? Yeah, I got something. Come on. This is Psalms 12 and 2. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. That's Esau, man. <laughs> flattering and with a double tongue, man. A fourth, a fourth tongue devil, man. Got some more. It says the Lord shall cut off all the flattering lips and the tongue that speak of proud things. Who have said, "With our tongue we will, we will prevail; mm. our lips are our own." Who is the Lord over us? Oh man, that's that's Esau, man. That's Esau. For the oppressing of the poor, for the sighing of the needy. Now will I arise, said the Lord. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the Lord, the Lord hears us, man. The Lord sees what this devil is doing. And they say, well, uh, what, like 92% of the earth's wealth is within 1%, man. That's crazy, man. It's, it's these elite so-called white people. That's more about it. Yeah, it says, 
Now will I rise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. Mm. Yeah, yeah puff. I, when you look up that word puff, I, I looked it up before. Um, it pretty much means to be proud, proud in speech, something to that effect. All right, last one. You got some? Come on. <clears throat> he saw the end of the world. Let's get it. That's, oh, that's, that's spirit. Spirit. That's spirit. spirit. This is a uh, second answer, chapter six, verse seven. Then answered I and said. What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Yeah, the dividing of the times. Go ahead. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? Yeah, the end of the end of Esau's age, man. As 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 uh as the show is named. Okay, yeah. go ahead. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Why is that? Go ahead. For Esau is the end of the world. Yeah, we're at the end of Esau's age, man. We're at the end of your world. All right, no limit, nigga. All right, go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Yeah, we're Jacob, okay? Yeah, you're looking at the, the new rulers, man, your new slave masters. All right, so hey, now it's fitting. With that, we're going to wrap up. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, The water for the, the Holy Spirit being brought down, okay? And uh, and and deaf to America, and deaf to you, so-called white people, and deaf to the nigga woman. Right, right. And still deaf to the nigga woman. Still deaf to the nigga woman. Shalom to the elect. Shalom to you, sinners.